Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Tees, Foam and Terrain and all that. And uh, this week I've gone for something a bit different and I, I sort of have to apologise because obviously on Saturdays um, you, you guys have been getting very used to seeing my 2 mil Lord of the Rings project and, and the progress that's been going with that. And, and I am still working on that very much. Uh, what I will say is that um, I started off building those, uh, the rocky pieces of terrain to go behind the keep and, and the wall itself. Um, and unfortunately, life's just got too busy and there's no way I'm going to be able to complete it and video it in time for Saturday. Um, and possibly not even next Tuesday, so it might be a fortnight's time. Or sorry, a, a week from, from when you're watching this video on the, on the Saturday release. Um, that I'll actually have that video ready to go. And, and um, I have to say, um, I don't want to rush it. I don't want to sort of make a bad job of it just to get a video out on time. Um, but even just even just doing a poor job, I, I don't have time. Um, and it, it's down to sort of have, gluing the, the, um, the bits of cork uh, or bark, sorry, down onto, the, onto the, the board and layering it up and every layer when I've glued it down, I then have to let it dry, and I've got four pieces to do. So although I could do one lot, go to the next, do the next, and but then I've still got to let it dry before coming back. And unfortunately, uh, being in the office uh, two days this week, uh, and it, it, and having various other family and medical appointments and stuff like that, it has meant that I haven't had time to to progress like I have. So I'm going to give it hopefully another week to give myself time to get it done properly. And then we'll we'll do that episode. So in the meantime, um, today's episode is it's going to be a bit of an introduction to um, sort of I guess the world of contact front um, in some regards. And I think Tuesday's episode I'm going to follow on from this episode uh, and actually do a little bit of terrain for for the for what I'm introducing. So today um, let, let, let's just start off. So I, I've written a, a set of uh, modern. Uh, skirmish rules for one of a better phrase um, is platoon level. It's called contact front. I'll throw a picture up on the, the screen here now, um, and uh, it, it's it's hopefully uh, you know it's been released in two thousand and eighteen. We've got a good strong community online, uh, around six hundred people I think in the Facebook group, and a lot of people playing the game, and um, and, it, and it's really nice. Uh, you know, and it's. Uh, it's not a tournament-based game by any stretch of the imagination. It's it's very much a friendly, what I call a beer and nuts sort of game. It's in, it's enjoyable. It's it's fun and friendly. Um, and the 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 core rules that are out um, cover kind of the early period of the uh, invasion of Afghanistan, two thousand and one, and through to about two thousand and seven. Um, there will be more news, and I think uh, one of the videos we've already done uh, an interview with me and Martin, where we sort of did a news update on it. We talked about possibly uh, what's to come. One of the supplements I've, I've worked on and I'm working on to, to get out in the future um, has decided to take the game and see if I could use it for a sort of a sci-fi version. Um, and uh, the, the working title, and I think the title we're going to stick with, is Contact Front Gate, Tra Gate Travellers. Now, this of course, is not Stargate, I will say that now, not Stargate, but obviously strongly inspired. Uh, it is a, 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 a sci-fi series that I very much enjoy and love and, and um, think that, you know, it would make a good war game. So um, I've got, uh, I've kind of written a, a bit of fluff for it, um, this idea that uh, there is this group of... Um, uh, sort of aliens, for want of a better word, they're they're quite worm-like. Um, they're quite small, and they they um, take uh, other humanoids uh, as hosts, and they're called the Eros. Uh, now, the Eros um, throughout history have uh, come to different planets and uh, taken hosts, and then built up armies from that. And then in the fluff, we talk about how. Uh, on earth they did it during the roman times and uh, uh the an archaeological dig in 1994 on the isle of wight found not too far from the roman the ruins of the roman villa this uh this this gate um and uh 
you know, we, we sort of learn about the history that, that actually the Eros were on Earth and they were using the Romans and uh, as their army and um, they put the gate on the Isle of Wight because it was a defendable position um, and all this good stuff, all, lots of good fluff. And over the times when they've been kicked out by the Britons and the gate's been buried because they're concerned about the rise of the Romans again, you know, coming back, that the the um, the Eros have, have sort of learnt a lesson from this and they've actually got a, their own sort of warrior race, uh, the Bellator, who they're going to use to... Um, uh, you know, fight for them uh, and they'll fight for a meal on all the planets, not uh, rather than you sort of locals on that planet to fight for them. So, so yeah, we've got this kind of thing. And then, and then we go on to talk about, you know, the, the, the fact that the, the, the humans uh, found this gate and uh, they, the, the British are kind of leading it because obviously it's um, found in Britain and, and they've got these teams um, uh, who, who then go out and visit these planets through the gate uh, and there's sort of a bit of discovery and this archaeological digging and resource finding and stuff like this. Um, and then we also find out about uh, another race, again, uh, the, they're called the Kymex. Um, and the Kymex are essentially these sort of robotic bugs um, and it's all stemmed from uh, once upon a time uh, this machine was built to try to um, sort of make make the world a better place and unfortunately um, something went wrong the the machine killed the the creator of the machine and then disappeared and shortly after um, there was rumors of of swarms of these Kymex um, taking worlds and re, um, uh, re, re not redesigning but sort of uh, reworking them into what they deem as perfect world um and so they're they're a bit of an issue so the, the game gate travelers um you know you, you can you can have a force of any of them and, and to be honest i've used specific models but the really the you know the models that you use could be any sort of models um i've got people who are play testing it and and they're using more sort of kind of i don't know something based around starship troopers um so you've got those bugs uh that the climax being represented by the sort of more starship troopers bugs and then you've got your uh humans are more like the humans that are, are defending you know against the bugs so it i think it's going to be a good fun game and i, I will at some point hopefully do some play test and maybe video it or do something on uh youtube as a live live game um so yeah so that's that now hopefully um I, I've, I've thought ahead and I, i've taken some pictures and i've i've put them on the uh on the screen when talking about the different groups so hopefully you've seen them and felt a bit inspired i also want to say i've, I've got some kits for the gates um because whenever you play a game there would will need to be a gate on the table so i'll just put some pictures up uh now i've got one of what I'd consider the gate room, um, so some secret base in Britain, um, and so yeah, that's that. Um, and then I've also got one which I consider more of an off-world gate, um, and uh, these are three uh, MDF kits which I got off somebody off Facebook a long time ago, uh, and finally decided to build them and put them to use. Um, Tuesday's episode, I'm going to start to uh, look at some of the other bits. So, for example, the Bellator, the Eros um, Force, they have a support option, uh, which are these transportation rings. And essentially what it is, is it's a deployment point that they can put anywhere on the table. And um, so they can use it to deploy troops straight to that point, which could be quite interesting. Again, the, the core mechanics uh, of, of Contact Front will be very much visible within the game um, if you've played contact front you'll be able to play this pick it up very quickly the weapons are obviously different in some regards you do still have the assault rifles carried by the humans but then um the kymex are uh, really they primarily they are a close combat unit so with them you've got swarms you've got you know almost like a horde army and they're trying to get in close to do that if you can keep them at bay you you could survive but uh, yeah so there's that and then the Bellators obviously have different types of weapons. Um, and what I wanted to do kind of with this series is then start to to 
get some of the support options finished that I've already started. So for example, um, uh, the, there is an aircraft support for the Bellator, uh, which I, I'm gonna hopefully do as a video on here. The transportation rings I'm gonna do on Tuesday as a bit of terrain, but also as a support option and, and kind of take it from there. And it will be, a again, a project which I can throw in from time to time if, for example, I haven't had a chance to do a bigger project, I can do that in the background and, and put a smaller video out in the meantime. So that's Gate Travellers. Unfortunately, I don't have any sort of artwork yet done for the cover that I can stick up and go, oh, look at this, this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, but it's just one to look forward to in the future. Um, if there are people out there who like sci-fi gaming and think this game sounds really exciting, really fun, and would like to get involved maybe with some play testing, do please, you know, leave me a message below with either, you know, and, and we can sort of get in touch and work out um, how I can get you involved with the play testing because it would be nice to get this one moving. Um, and as I say, I'd like to give it a play test soon. I've got all the figures pretty much painted up, and it's just a case of getting on the table and having some games and finding the time is, is, is always fun. So, um, hey, thank, thanks for sticking with me on this one. I know it's a bit different than what I've been doing and I know it's not the Lord of the Rings 2 mil stuff that I have been doing, but uh, you know, rest assured that is still happening in the background and I'm getting that done ready for hopefully next Saturday's vid, um, release. We can get back on schedule. I've also, um, for those people who've been watching the naval stuff, um, my General Belgrano uh, model has now arrived, so I should be able to do the next kind of task group based around the General Belgrano for the following Tuesday after next Tuesday. Um, I can't, I'm trying to map it out, so I've got to know what I'm doing. But yeah, if you're interested in any of that, do please you know, keep watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, as always. Comments below if you're excited about this, if you've got... Uh, thoughts about it if you've got questions about it you know um, if you don't know about contact front you'd like to know more let me know I'll do some more videos I will be doing more videos but you know it's good to know that people are interested I can point people to the Facebook group in fact I'll put a link in the description below to the contact front Facebook group for those interested um, so do please check that out um, again guys if you like what I'm doing on the channel do please feel um, click the subscribe button you'll get a notification when my videos come out and of course it's uh, really encouraging for me i think we're over 500 and we're, we're looking for the next goal of 550 so yeah it'd be great to have you on board for the journey and uh, until the next one take care we'll see you soon